What's up, mutants? Will here from 8-Bit Massacre. Just got finished playing some Resident Evil Village, and now I'm ready to chill out and watch some B-movies. <laughs> I recently bought some cheap four-packs of B-movies I've never seen from Shout Factory, so I figured I would do a bunch of Let's Watches of them, since I'll be watching them all for the first time, and they could be potentially really funny. And so here's the first four pack we're doing the action pack and we're starting with cyclone let's read the back shall we 1987 cyclone when her adventure boyfriend jeffrey combs woo -woo, is murdered terry marshall heather thomas must keep his high-tech futuristic motorcycle from falling into the wrong hands martin landau troy donahue and Martine Beswick co-star in this explosive and thrilling adventure. All right, so we got Jeffrey Combs and a futuristic motorcycle. That's what I take from this. I, I'm in. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Treadle and Ray, never heard of him. <laughs> Heather Thomas. You see her all on the screen. <laughs> you got that classic 80s hair going on. <laughs> Jeffrey Combs! <laughs> I just love him. Reanimator, y'all know Reanimator is one of my favorite movies ever made. Yeah, Jeffrey! I can look so excited, I don't know why. Back to the workshop, I guess. I got a roll. <laughs> He's just so full of joy. <laughs> Jeffrey looks kind of like Bruce Campbell a little bit right now for some reason. Love all these futuristic sounds. Oh, five. Come on, you got it. Six. Seven. One more, baby. One of the best things about eighties movies. Especially like 80s, like B movies, there's lots of like aerobicizing and exercise scenes. Women in those like outfits. <laughs> and there's some movies that are straight just about that, like Killer Workout and Death Spa. Death Spa is amazing. I love Death Spa. Killer Workout is, uh, is okay. But it does have a unique, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's the movie that has a giant safety pin as the killer's weapon. I don't even know, but that's a thing. Was that whole scene dubbed? <laughs> I feel like that was mad ADR. <laughs> It was like 40 full frontal naked women in the shower that they had to ADR over the shower sounds. Who the fuck are these? <laughs> well, listen, if you guys are interested in joining the gym, I'll be glad to show you around. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Go inside, I'll help you out. Thanks, Carla. Yeah. Listen, don't let those low-life jerks get you down. I know, I just don't need it today. I don't need to be hassled like that's like that. Yeah, well, I know what you mean, but, uh... I'll handle them. I'll lock them in the sun temple or something. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> A gang of roving curves ready to strike at any moment. Uh, 
Okay. Now all you need is an oil change. I think it's that shirt that's Sorry. making me think he looks kind of like Bruce Campbell. Where are you? He just needs the chin. It all looks like the same shirt Ash is wearing, maybe, in, like, Army of Darkness when he's making his hand out of that glove from the suit of armor. <laughs> Jeez, what the hell? Well, if it ain't Jane Fonda, <laughs> sure is. Oh, those are the same dudes. What the hell? It's like the dudes from Hell and Kumar, but everywhere they go, they're just there to harass people. Said, get your butt off my bike, you're greasing up the upholstery. Hey, we didn't like the Jimmy Yard. Fitz's girlfriend locked us in the steam room about melted our asses off. Freaked our hair off. Good. What was your excuse before you went in? Dude, beat their asses with that metal thing. Oh, she can fight! Hell yeah! <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. Wow, that gave me a headache. <laughs> Thanks for the commentary, bro. Hell yeah, okay. But she can fight and she eventually gets his motorcycle. You're in terrible shape. Who are the main villains gonna be then? Long John's looking for you. Who caught the traffic? <laughs> Since when you let traffic slow you down. That's your oil. Great. What's that stuff? Very. I totally ship these two. They're cool. Normal. <laughs> they use this on stealth bombers to beat radar. But I jazzed it up some. Mr. Spock. Hey. How'd it go today? Oh, so so. I had a small glitch with the turbo impeller blades. You know how those little inner bearings can get you. Mm -hmm. But with my turbo modifications, we're talking 60 PSI or better. And with this nitrous oxide... That's the most manly I've ever seen Jeffrey Combs in a film. <laughs> but it's finished, right? Yeah. Cyclone's about ready for the road. I got a few screws. I got a torque here and there. Damn, she's in heat all of a sudden being around Jeff. <laughs> you know, you're much too sexy for an absent-minded professor. Is this okay? Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Thanks. Good. Now you gotta get dressed, because we gotta get to the lava club and get a table. They really pack them in with that new band. We have to, like, shave our heads or something to get into this place? I listen to the Bach and the Beethoven. You can humor me. One night. Please. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. To a present. Celebrate finishing the project. Amazing. This is a wit worth one inch. This is hand forged in yeah. Coventry. Where did... <laughs> Did you have They're making shit like that up for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing special about that piece of metal. <laughs> Thank you. This That's is funny. Great. Up there. <laughs> we don't have a budget. We're gonna make something out of You're nothing. Right. Literally. Our new house. I'm gonna hang them all right on the living room wall. All right. <laughs> hey, listen, do we really have to go to this lava club? Tonight? You promised. Come on, Jeffrey, don't be like that. I did. <laughs> and I'll go. But only if you say it. Is this whole movie ADR? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. I don't like him. <laughs> what in the hell? This dude's on way more than a gram of blow. <laughs> This is probably a small room that's barely decked out and pretending to be a club. <laughs> There's only like 20 people in there.
Mm, this is painful. <laughs> uh, please end soon. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? Ew. Oh boy. Jeffrey, he's way out of <laughs> place here. He's like wearing some. <laughs> He looks nerdier than he did in the last scene. He looked somewhat manly before. <laughs> I tell you, this place is outstanding. You're about as much fun as an eggplant. Come on, let's dance. Dance it. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you can do this, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what the fuck? What was that um was an ice pick? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so eighty yard. <laughs> You're late. I'll make up for it. This dude's hair is Fucking killing me. I literally hate everybody in this club except for Jeffrey and Heather. Let me do him. You can take out the girl. Oh, I'm dizzy. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna get a a chick fight between them two. Oh god. Why can't they just kill the band? <laughs> the villain looks like Rutger Howard from Blade Runner, like, mated with Doc Brown. What the f Did they literally just ice pick Jeffrey on the dance floor? Ooh! <laughs> what was this? Why'd that guy even do go up to her like that? He's still there. What the? Dude, where did you learn to mop? Uh... Sorry. <laughs> he's getting everywhere except for the blood. What the fuck? And then he's leaving? You okay? Yeah. No. Hello, Terry. Quick, Your handprint activated the computer. <laughs> Hope I didn't frighten you. Oh, jeez. I know this is... This movie is awesome. <laughs> ...strange, but if you're listening to this, I guess some pretty... ...strange things have been happening around you already. I imagine you've probably been visited by some agency people who are plenty pissed off at me because they can't find the cyclone. It had to be that way. I can't trust normal channels. There's a leak in the agency, maybe more than one. Mm. Listen to me carefully. You got some double agents. <laughs> I need you to contact a friend of mine. His name is Bob Jenkins. I've taped his phone number underneath the phone in the living room. He's the only one in the agency I can trust. He'll be sure and get... Well, at least we get more Jeffrey through people. video. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. Now, if you want to help me, punch the date we first met into the computer. That'll give you clearance, and the program will continue. But only if you want to, Terry. You 
can push the erase button if you don't think you can handle it. I wouldn't blame you for a millisecond. That's my girl. <laughs> I'll take you through a cram course in the operation of the cyclone. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, I was wondering how she was going to learn how to operate it. Cyclone. It's got everything. Armor plating, turbocharging. Firepower equal to an F-16. <laughs> so as soon as you hit the gas pedal, you're like 60 miles <laughs> into a brick wall. <laughs> well, she got that boot knife with the brass knuckles. Is that the key? For real? Missiles? Dude, this better be good. Like, I want to see her go Punisher and this bike better be worth the wait to see in action. <laughs> the fuck? Is that the stop? Is that like a parachute? <laughs> By the way, watch out for a loose oil plug. Love how his timing in the video is no. perfect to everything Already she's doing and reacting. And most important step. To your left on the shelf, you'll see a paint can. Inside is the final component. Who's gonna look there, right? It's called the Transformer. It's the heart of the cyclone. Got it, Rick. That little box can power a battleship all by itself. It's like the flux capacitor. Definitely. You're holding a source of inexhaustible fuel. The transformer sucks hydrogen out of the atmosphere and converts it to energy. The universe is filled with hydrogen. It's in the air, the ocean, space itself. So it just it's recycles the air and the energy. <laughs> Just plain, pure, clean power. But the wrong people can't get a hold of the Transformer. Trust Jenkins and no one else. On the bike, you'll find a blue button next to the nitrous oxide bottle. It'll open the engine compartment. Now, it's just like loading batteries into a flashlight. Slide the box in, push the button, and you're in business. I was wondering, I was like, I thought those, those exhaust things were on the back, I was like... Does it shoot missiles behind her? I guess if she's being chased. Okay. If you follow the directions on this tape, the cyclone is now operational. Word. I thought they were about to play some Phil Collins for a second. I was like, there's no way this movie is going to do that. They're definitely trying to rip it off the, for this scene. I'm feeling it though, it's good. It's not good anymore. <laughs> I like it without the lyrics. <laughs> well, I kind of like it in a good bad way. It sounds like, you know, that song from the Lost Boys where they're riding the motorbikes towards the cliff, but slower. <laughs> they're going for a moody in the middle of the night of the city. <laughs> you belong to the city. <laughs> Remember that song? <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of getting into this song now. <laughs> it's not that great though, but for this movie, it's, it's decent. <laughs> I mean, it's a masterpiece after that club song. <laughs> What is this guy, young Dr. Jacoby from Twin Peaks? You don't need relief. Wait. Wait a second. Is it a young Dr. Jacoby? And the bike is gone. 
gone. Yeah, gone, that's right. When? When? While you guys were in Bye Bye Land. The way he's in his one eye. I've watched listen, Twin Peaks about 300,000 times. Hey, listen, you know something? Do you know what dead meat is? That's you. Yeah, and that's you, too. I think it is. I'm going to report you right now. You guys have had it. He just looks at... This was it that long before... Like, Twin Peaks was 1990, they probably filmed it in 89, and this is like 87. But Jacoby looks like a lot younger. Is that Jacoby? I think it is. <laughs> this fake Phil Collins song. <laughs> is this Bob Jenkins? Maybe they followed her and they're gonna gank Bob. Oh, that bike does look kind of badass now in this shot. Bob Jenkins? <laughs> He's like all the way, like what? So this is Cyclone. Jesus. Five million bucks on a motorcycle. It's all yours. I don't know how to ride this thing. Besides, I have my car here. You can follow me to, uh, this address. Rick said that you could take... I can't use our regular... Is so he gonna, like, help her, like, be her cue or her handler or something where... She does all the kicking ass and he, like... how to get it to Washington. Helps out in some way. Or not. Jeez. Ah, no way. That was dope. Oh, well, there went Bob. He got cross. He got shot and crossbow. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen that. <laughs> like, shot from the front and crossbowed by the back. Like, come on, fuck does not do that? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's like a Volkswagen <laughs> versus Cyclone. Jesus. That looks like a car my grandparents used to have. <laughs> that sound effect. What was that? Jesus. Where's my bullet? Oh, triple T. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> The ADR is killing me a little bit, not the bad way, like killing me. It's uh, it's tripping me the fuck out. We going backwards. At least we're getting some good car stunts and shit. I'm digging it. <laughs> Classic. B movie where you whack and budget you make up for in stunts. <laughs> you on fighter? <laughs> Is he gonna try to pull it? Indiana Jones. What? Is he gonna, he's going fishing for that bike. What? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> yes. 
That was awesome. <laughs> oh shit. Coffee's fresh. Where's the transformer? Where is it? Wasn't it just in? Where is it? I'll bet she's or do they player. not know it's part of the bike or something? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The gizmo that runs the motorcycle. Okay. I fill it up with unleaded. You're right. A bleeder. It'll be a real mess. Blood everywhere. Real you can mess. take these two. Beat their asses. Your friend of the gizmo. Please don't hurt her. Oh, that's nice. I like to hear a little. Head let his teeth in and take that bitch out. I'll splatter her all over this room if you don't give me what I want. It's not here. It's a safe place. I hit it. <laughs> They're like in a different outfit every scene. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what you want to know. On one condition, you you let her go. They're not gonna fall for that. Here, it's in a locker, a Santa Monica bus terminal. Okay, I gave it to you. Let her go. told you it'd work. Ah, uh, she pulled a Indiana Jones the Last Crusade. Let me die. Don't make him break your arm, honey. Oh, they're all going down. <laughs> I can feel it. Peter, a gym locker. <laughs> In this case, we seem to be running out of time. I'm surprised Certainly that they offered her money instead of just going straight to torture. Failure to meet these commitments can be very costly. Therefore, I insist you accept my final offer. $500,000 in cash. $600,000. 750000 <laughs> The words fuck you have any special meaning for you? Knowles, you're in charge now. You have exactly one hour to get the transformer from her any way you can. One hour. No excuses. Yes, sir. No shit! What? <laughs> the feds a commando chick? Oh damn, she's really. Want to try for thirty? She's just. Damn, she's just taking it. Where would you like it this time? Up your ass. <laughs> You're such a tease. <laughs> Wanna try for forty? <laughs> I've really turned around on this one. This shit is hilarious. That green jumpsuit. <laughs> Damn. She reading. Damn, she's tough. Let me handle this. I knew she wanted to get in on this. Run along. And let us girls have a little private talk. She's all yours. Terry, don't be stupid. Just give me the transport. 
and I'll see to it that they let you go. You're as plastic as your tits. <laughs> Tower, how are you? Well, you don't look so good, you're... Last chance. Where's the transformer? Bite my ass. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Marshall? Yeah. Start shooting. You on tire. Waters, thank God you're here. I never would have believed it. My and she should have just walked in and sprayed them fools. <laughs> the party we're having here. Sorry, we have to leave so early. Can you walk? Okay. Rest of you, we're leaving. You're not. First one out of this door gets it. <laughs> what? Yes. She won. At least she's a woman of her word. I respect that. I didn't. I was starting to think we weren't gonna get any submachine gun action. <laughs> oh, these cardboard boxes. <laughs> what was that dude doing up there? Ah! <laughs> that would be action in this movie. She reacted so late. <laughs> I'm surprised any of them are even hitting anything. Oh shit. Please hit her. Okay. I mean, I like her, but... I thought, holy shit, hell yeah. I thought maybe we would all die together in a big explosion. That would have been fucking hilarious. Oh, they're dealt with. We just gotta deal with these main dickheads. Those are some pretty good explosions. Oh yeah. <laughs> this movie. Is she never gonna use those rockets? <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
this is like that burned my hand a little. <laughs> Yeah! Thank you. That's all I want to see. <laughs> now run her over. <laughs> They're all still alive? She gonna beat them all up now? Hell yeah! She's definitely dead. <laughs> it's like... No! <laughs> I will kill you! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> okay, that was awesome. <laughs> that almost made the whole movie worth it, that shot. <laughs> Herb stomp that Bond girl. <laughs> but that swagger. <laughs> Are they gonna get in a big ass kung fu fight? Please. I knew she was gonna open eyes suddenly on dramatically <laughs> like that. Well. I thought we'd eventually get a chick fight. I didn't think it would be between these two, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, come on, Heather. Just the triumphant music. <laughs> Heather looks like a hotter, um, what's their name, from Wings. <laughs> that was the Slumber Party Massacre Part 2. She played Helen in Wings. What's her name? Crystal Bernard. It looks kind of like a hotter Crystal Bernard. Is there more? Since we haven't seen the main main bad guy again. Oh. What was that? Trouble. <laughs> Good move. Who needs free energy in you? <laughs> When Tesla invented it, they were like, fuck that, combustible all the way. <laughs> God. Sir, the transformer's missing. Yes, I looked there, sir. What? I don't understand. <laughs> she works for him too? Was that like a trick to save her from the other back? Like, Can I interest you in a very fast the fuck? <laughs> oh hell yeah. What just happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that was Cyclone. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I kind of enjoyed it. A lot of scenes seemed drug out just for time. And the end was kind of weird, but it, it had its moments. But <laughs> the new solo budget, they could only afford Jeffrey Combs for like... The first act. 
but you know i don't know it was kind of fun i kind of liked it i, I hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know how that the end of like, <laughs> like I was following the movie completely until that last part, and then it was like, what the hell? Like, was that chick a bad guy too? Or like, what? I don't know. So that brain burgled me just now. So anyway, I, that was fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. I'll see y'all in the next one. Take it easy.